Now discuss about the posterior triangle of the neck. In this diagram, this side of the neck, here you can see this muscle is trapezius. This is trapezius. This muscle is sternocleidomastoid. And here, this another muscle attached with the hard bone. This is superior belly of the omohyoid, and here is inferior belly of the omohyoid. This superior belly of the omohyoid. This is inferior belly of the omohyoid. By this inferior belly of the omohyoid, this posterior triangle. This posterior triangle is divided into two triangles. Upper triangle is occipital triangle. Lower triangle is this triangle is supraclavicular triangle. It lies just above the clavicle. So this is supraclavicular triangle and this is occipital triangle. So first of all, we'll discuss about the boundary of the posterior triangle. Here is, you can see this is posterior border of sternocleidomastoid it forms the anterior boundary posterior boundary is formed by anterior border of trapezius and inferior boundary is formed by upper surface of middle one third of the clavicle so middle one third of the clavicle upper surface this is base this is anterior boundary this is posterior boundary apex is formed at here at the superior nuchal line where anterior and posterior boundary meets. So this is boundary of the posterior triangle of the neck. Now we will discuss about the roof. Here this is covered by skin then superficial fascia. Superficial fascia contains from here you can see this platysma muscles lies. So superficial fascia contains Platysma muscle and other structures which lies here covers this after removing the skin. We will see the content of the superficial fascia. Here you can see this is here nerve region in superficial fascia. This is lesser occipital nerve. This nerve is a lesser occipital nerve. Here is another nerve. This is great auricular nerve. Great auricular nerve, and here is anterior cutaneous nerve of the neck. This is anterior cutaneous nerve of the neck. Nerve. Here the supra three supra clavicular nerves. So here you can see there are four cutaneous nerves which lie in the superficial fascia and one vein. Here this. This vein is external jugular vein. So these structures 
from the roof of this posterior triangular neck. So this is all about the boundary and roof of the posterior triangle of the neck. In next video, we will discuss about the content and floor of this triangle. Thank you. So you have seen the roof of the posterior triangle. In the roof, there are four nerves, mesen occipital nerve, great auricular nerve, here is anterior cutaneous nerve of neck and these are three branches of the supraclavicular nerve and here is vein that is external jugular vein. In roof you have also seen the platysma, here platysma muscle is present and also there is uh, deep fascia that is investing layer of the deep cervical fascia so here is skin superficial fascia these are the content of the superficial fascia and then there is deep fascia that is investing layer of the deep fascia which covers this from the roof of the posterior triangle now we will discuss about the floor of the posterior triangle here this is posterior triangle i am drawing here this is posterior triangle <clears throat> here is your roof, uh, uh, floor, floor, this is floor, floor is found by here, this muscle is semi spinalis capitis, and another muscle, that is splenius capitis, so from here to here, this is splenius capitis, and another muscle, that is levator scapulae. This muscle is levator scapulae. This muscle is levator scapulae. Semi spinal scapulae, spinous scapulae, levator scapulae, and here is scalenus anterior. This is scalenus medius. This is scalenus anterior. This is scalenus anterior. This is scalenus medius. And this is scalenus posterior. Here lies scalenus posterior. This is scalenus posterior. In this diagram, this is level of first rib. This is first rib. This is second rib. This is second rib. So these muscles forms the floor of the posterior triangle of the neck. Now, these muscles are covered with, this floor is covered with pre-vertebral fascia. That is fascia of the neck. Like here, you have seen the roof is lined by, internally lined by Investing layer of deep cervical fascia. Here, this is covered by this is covered by prevertebral fascia. So this form the this these structures from the floor. So this is floor of the posterior triangle. Now content of the posterior triangle. Here. You can see these nerves form the content of the triangle. Here is this nerve. This is this nerve. This is lesser occipital nerve. This is lesser occipital nerve. And the nerve here which ascends upward. This is great auricular nerve. It also lies here. This is great auricular nerve. And the nerve. Here is supraclavicular nerve. This is supraclavicular nerve. Here it pierces the deep fascia. So this portion lies 
in the triangle and form the content of the triangle. So this is content of the triangle. This is supra clavicular nerve. And the important nerve that is this is spinal accessory nerve. This is spinal accessory. This is spinal accessory nerve. It accompanies with C3 and C4 nerve with give supply to levator scapulae and trapezius. This is C3 and C4 give supply to trapezius and levator scapulae. And the nerve, here is position of upper middle and lower trunk of the brachial plexus. These gives branches. Here is nerve to rhomboid, supra scapular nerve, nerve to subclavius, and also. Here is serratus anterior also, nerve to serratus anterior is also present, nerve to serratus anterior. So the nerves lies in the posterior triangle of the neck and here this is anterior cutaneous nerve also arise from this, some part of the anterior cutaneous nerve is, lies here. Now vessels and lymph nodes. Here are these are lymph nodes, cervical group of lymph node, and here is occipital artery. This is occipital artery. This is occipital artery, which is a branch of external carotid artery. This is occipital artery. And the important thing, this is subclavian vein. This is subclavian vein, and here is subclavian artery. This is subclavian artery. Here is this is external jugular vein. This is external jugular vein. Here it pierces the deep fascia and reaches into the subclavian vein. This is external jugular vein. And tributaries of this external jugular vein here and the vein the supra scapular vein it is a comparing artery supra scapular artery which is branch of thyro cervical trunk. It is trans superficial transverse cervical artery. This is again branch of the thyro cervical trunk. And thyro cervical trunk is the branch of Subclavian artery. This is subclavian artery. This is subclavian vein. So the structures form the content of the posterior triangle. You can see here. This is spinal accessory nerve. This is spinal accessory nerve. Above the spinal accessory nerve, you can see in this diagram and also in this diagram, there are very few structure, only this is present here and here some lymph nodes and this artery is present and below to this there are several structures here and here. So, for the clinical importance, for the uh, surgical imp importance, this portion is careful area of the triangle. This is carefree area of the triangle. So 
So this is carefree area of the triangle. This is careful area of this posterior triangle for the surgeons. Thank you. This is all about the posterior triangle of the neck. Thank you.